Good day everyone and welcome to Goes to 11 Get Spun. Today I'm going to show you how we assemble our Get and Hook Lures Alien Jig Spoons. Uh, we'll start with a number three Balo brass spoon uh, that I've modified in my milling machine. Uh, I've drilled some holes for the beads to go into. Uh, I use some 20 thou um, copper wire to hold the beads in place and then we use a little bit of uh, UV resin to glue everything together uh, to keep it locked in place. <clears throat> so we'll take uh, an eighth inch fluorescent chartreuse brass bead that we got from our friends at Togans and uh, install the first one onto my wire with the larger uh, opening towards my bend. Uh, I do that because when I put it into my blade, I want the larger bend or larger hole to go in, and when I use the UV resin on it, it'll uh, it'll make a little more contact into the into the eyelet there. And then I'll install my quarter inch chartreuse glow bead, and then my next <coughs> eighth inch uh, sh chartreuse um, brass bead the opposite direction with the eyelet facing away from the quarter inch bead. And yeah, got to get it in the hole there I guess. Then I'll bend my wire to a 90 degree angle, spaced out far enough that we uh, fit in between our two holes here. And drop it into place, make sure that our brass beads line up with those two holes and our quarter inch bead is in the in the eye hole I like to call it and then this copper wire is fairly soft so you can bend it into place with your fingers and I like to give it a good squeeze with the needle nose pliers to ensure that they stay in place and as long as they don't come past the edge of the spoon blade I'm okay with that I uh, glue into those holes there in a bit. So we'll just repeat that process again. Eighth inch bead, quarter inch bead, and eighth inch bead. I already see that one's quite long, so I'm going to trim it off a bit right now so I don't have so much sticking out. Trim those right in those holes again. And our wires out. where we'll use our UV resin, <coughs> pardon me, uh, I just like to fill that hole up and move it along the uh, wires a little bit so that it's got something to bond to. A little shaky here today I guess. Um, not enough coffee or too much, one of the two. Then I just hit it with the UV light to cure the resin. Give that about 30 seconds or so to, to make that resin cure. Then contrary to your normal spoon where you put your hook on the fatter end, because we're using this for a jig for ice fishing, and uh, we target burbot with this and pike on the bottom of the lake. Um, I put my hook and my I use a uh, bead chain swivel to get the hook away from the spoon a ways. So we use a, a number four split ring on the spoon blade itself. chain swivel on. And then I use a number three 
split ring to attach the hook. Put the split ring on first. And we'll install our, this is a number four. Uh, Where's the, there we go, a little bit disoriented there. Uh, number four red treble hook. So I'm gonna throw that on there. Install that. Now the assembly looks like that. So our, our eyeballs glow in the dark. The fluorescent brass beads are there. Uh, some guys that we sell these to uh, rig them up from right in this eyelet and they jig them down with a, a minnow or whatever bait they want on it like that and other guys will hook it into here and they'll latch or hook their uh, minnow bait onto the hook and as this bead chain runs down the back of the spoon they jig it and it rattles against the spoon blade and makes noise to attract the, the bourbon. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like this video, um, subscribe Hit the reminder bell so you don't miss any further content from Goes to Eleven. Um, also, um, Goes to Eleven now has a fishing store called fishingandoutdoors.ca. So if you'd like to buy any of our product or any of the other guys that uh, are affiliated with Goes to Eleven, please check them out. Tight lines, everyone, and thanks for watching.